I'm going to do a Hummingbird Solix vs. Helix comparison video. Both are great units. I will try to highlight the features to help make your decision easier. If you find the video helpful, a like, share, subscribe is always appreciated. All Solex series, G2 or G3, are networkable, so you don't need to worry about an N on the end. And I know that causes some confusion, but if you have a Solex, it is definitely networkable. In order to network a Helix unit, you need to make sure it has an N at the end. In this case, it's a G3N for networking, and that will allow you to make it a part of a one boat network. Solex has the touch screen, whereas the Helix does not. With the Solex, you can use the touch screen, but you can also use the keypad and toggle switch as well. With the cross touch interface, you can fine tune things quicker and you can navigate between screens quicker as well. Just a quick explanation of the dongle. So the ethernet cable is coming out here and there's a connection right here. The ethernet cable does not plug directly into the back of a Helix. It does into a Solix, but not the Helix. So whenever you are purchasing Helixes and you are networking, you're going to need this little dongle here, which just basically goes in and allows you to plug it into the back. So think of the dongle as a little adapter cable for the Helix, and that's basically what it is. The Ethernet adapter cable needed for the Helix units is the ASECQDE, and that is needed to plug in your Ethernet cable to the Helix unit. With your Solix unit, the Ethernet cable will plug directly into the back of the unit. The Solex series will share a Lake Master chip, but the Helix series will not share chips. So if you have two Helix units, you will need to buy two chips. With the Solix, you can share and just buy the one. In the previous slide, you noticed that the Solex had mega plus distance of 250 feet, whereas the Helix series are still at 200 feet. Solex units come in a 10, 12, and 15 size and they'll have 1280 by 800 resolution. Helix 12 and 15 come in the 1280 by 800 resolution like the Solex, but the 10 is 1024 by 600 as well as the 9 and the 8. The 5s and the 7s are 800 by 480. The Helix 15, Solex 15 have the same resolution. The Helix 12 and Solex 12 are the same resolution, but there is a difference in the Solex 10 has better resolution than the Helix 10. So if you're comparing 10s, you are going to get a better picture with the Solex 10. The power draw on a Solex 15 is 4.56 amps. The 12 is 2.88 amps and the 10s are 2.4 amps. Although not shown here, the Helix 15 power draw is 3.5 amps. Then you have the 12s at 1.75 amps and the 10s at 1.2 amps. The storage area of your battery compartment could determine your choice in picking your unit as in some cases, for example, the Solex 10 is 2.4 amps and the Helix 10 is 1.2 amps. So it's double the power draw on the Solex 10 versus the Helix 10. So you have to take your battery compartment size into consideration as well when picking your units. With the Solex series, you have more customizable favorite options than you do with the conventional Helix. On the Humminbird Helix G4N series on the 8 and 9, 10, and 12 series. You have three pre-favorites. On the Helix 15 G4N, you have six preset favorites. Solex has waypoint storage of 10,000 waypoints. Helix units have storage waypoint capacity of 2,500 to 2,750 waypoints. With the Solix, you can use the four pane feature, which is chart, 2D, side imaging, and down imaging. On the Helix, you can only get 
three-pane feature. The Humminbird Helix series allows you to adjust the split position, whereas the Solix series does not. So I can change the map size to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, in fairness to the Solix, though, it uh, does allow you to get between screens quicker and navigate through at a faster rate. Solix units have built-in Wi-Fi. The Helix G3 series does not have built-in Wi-Fi, but the Helix G4N series does have built-in Wi-Fi, so that's an upgrade on the new G4 series. The joystick located in the middle on a Solix is usually considered to be a quicker navigation than the cursor pad on a Helix. The Solex series, G2 and G3, they have the built-in NMEA 2000 connection. The Helix 3 series does not, but an upgrade for the Helix 4 series does have that built-in NMEA 2000 connection as well. Solex is designed for extended durability with a saltwater inspired design. The Solex series has a lot of options and is maybe a little more challenging to use than the Helix. Both the Solex and the Helix are amazing units, so at the end of the day, it's your choice as to whether you want to go with the Solex series or the Helix series. And the Solex series is going to cost more money, but for some people, the touch screen, more waypoints, and just the more customizable features of the Solex make it worth it. So ultimately, the choice is yours. Thanks for watching the Solex vs. Helix comparison video. And if you enjoyed this comparison video, the iPilot versus iPilot link video on my YouTube channel, Steve Chasson Fishing, is very similar in setup and has been quite popular as well. Take care and we'll see you the next time.